All right, shalom, 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 shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. There was only begun son Yahweh shot man. And uh, today I'm gonna get a few precepts about um, sex appeal in the scriptures in in the David's mighty man. And this is addressing you, Jakes, who don't understand this. Uh, <laughs> and this is for you, Jakes, who's complaining about. And this is this is simply attraction, bro. Like I'm not, I'm not talking about all the other stuff. I'm talking about you, Jakes, that want nines and tens, bro. You know what I mean? Y'all want them to be a one. You know what I mean? But on the flip side, you do have a lot of bum west and bummer lights. Like I said, man, you don't work out. You don't work. You got no personality, no sex appeal, and this is all in the Bible. In our Bible. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to marriage, when it comes to godly marriage, man, the Lord didn't just give you muscles for no reason not to use them. Okay? He didn't give you a penis just to sit there. He didn't give you a vagina. Just, like, do people take the creation of God and y'all make it so animalistic? Yes, I'm not, I ain't worried about the nasty stuff. I'm talking about, like, the way y'all think is so caveman and barbaric, bro. And it's so, that vibration is stanky. It, well, like, what the hell is that, bro? That's a turn off. So, I'm going to get these precepts. Because you got guys, and they really think like this, that think they deserve the best looking women. They think they deserve all the pussy in the world. All this other nonsense. But meanwhile, they're built like a damn scarecrow. Uh, breath stanky, teeth yellow. Um... Forget paying all the bills. This nigga, he ain't even taking care of himself. You know what I'm saying? Don't trim his hair. Don't fucking do none of that. Well, you don't got to do all that. Because y'all pull ugly ass women. But I'm talking about actual dimes, bro. Dimes are not finna accept just... A, and, that's, and listen, that's not saying they won't accept you when you don't have... You don't look your best. That's not saying that. See, you act street niggas and you cornballs, you always do this shit. Bro, it's a balance. Simple attraction, just like when you look at the animals with the peacocks and lions with the beautiful manes. That's attraction, royalty, power, bro. That's that. That's what what makes the sex so intense and amazing, you idiots. Because it's vibration. But y'all too damn to smoke cigs all day. Now you impotent. What are you doing, bro? I I, I still but the nut. I still got big dick. That's y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? You got black men out here allowing white men to suck their dick. And y'all over here, like, bro, I'm like, yeah, we keeping it 100 today. Like, you don't use your sex appeal for fornication, bro. Oh, I'm finna be a bull and I'm finna smash all these white men's wives. No, bro, what the fuck you doing? See? Same thing with numbers 25, I think. Our numbers was 25. Yeah, 25. The orgy has shit him. Like, you already got the most powerful rod on the planet, and you want to do that to go commit adultery and defile it. That's what the Bible says when it's called, when it's, when it uh, speaks of men of Belial, right? The same men of Belial, worthless, who abused her or had sex with that concubine, that whore concubine, all the night. And guess what? She got chopped up in pieces, bitch. That's a problem. And for you women, when you become a whore, you become unstable. You're, you're unable to pair bond, and then you're afraid to love. That's why I'm bringing all this stuff out, because this shit got to stop, bro. Okay? And for you black men, you Israelite men who's insecure about your penis size, which I don't know why, change your goddamn diet, bro. I'm going to keep saying it, bro. It's no goddamn way you sit up because of that porn shit, bro. You want to get girthier or longer, change your diet. Stop eating so much fast food and it's blocking your flow, bro. Goof nut. How does a virgin understand this and y'all don't understand this and y'all get all the coochie in the world? Y'all get all the women, all the little thotties at the strip club. They get all the, well, that don't even count because they stinky as hell. But y'all get all that. You come in the truth. You know, sex appeal. You know, you ain't supposed to have it. You just supposed to be rough and rugged. Do you niggas not realize I can still knock you the fuck out while being a pretty boy? Like, it's not just because you're handsome. Okay, that doesn't mean, oh, he doesn't know how to fight, get down dirty. <laughs> You niggas, bro, I was cutting the grass at like six years old, bitch. 
getting down in the mud. What the fuck were y'all doing? I was in the I was like Gohan playing football against niggas three times my fucking size, bro. Stop talking to me, fam. You know, see, you niggas not complete, bro. Y'all not complete. And size don't mean shit. I seen little niggas, and it's all ties into sex appeal. I seen little niggas beat big niggas ass. That don't mean nothing, bro. Y'all listen, y'all listen to these stupid ass, weak ass women, bro, that hate themselves. The fuck? Then y'all sit up there. Why wow, these women? This is just, bro. Y'all sound like little ass boys, bro. But y'all allowed this shit, bro. Listen, man. I ain't gonna lie. Most of these women, they scared of me, dude. But guess what? They also feel feel protected around me, though. Yeah, you can you can ask the shawties themselves. They can tell you. Cause see, I made an oath. I even told it to Priscilla. I said, "Look, bro. If I was your husband, first and foremost, I I feel turned on and honorable protecting a wife, a godly wife, bro. Because the one thing that'll hurt me the most, like Black Adam, is when somebody hurt my shawty, bro." But that woman has to earn that. That's why in the Deuteronomy 28, it says that she was delicate and tender, bro. It didn't say, <laughs> put me in check. Can you handle me? What the fuck are you, a motorcycle? You stupid motherfucker. <laughs> Four wheel asshole. Shut your dumb ass up. Y'all sitting up here trying to, bro, these women got weave and stanky ass Karens in their damn head. Bro, don't even come at you virtuous, all right? And then y'all be talking about some rule. Don't trust the big button and the small. Y'all think like cavemen and a bunch of monkeys, bunch of idiots. That's why them Gentiles be roasting y'all. And fuck y'all too, bitch. I, I'm like that today. But it all this ties into sex appeal because y'all think in the Bible, you just, you just, oh, brother, just get wisdom. They don't work like that, man. Now you're going to have sisters who don't care. And that's a beautiful thing. Right, every woman not gonna be not it's not gonna be built like a a model, whatever the hell. And first of all, I see women that's not models built like a goddamn. Bro, she, bro, I seen one chick, man. I told her, look, you look like a Hershey bar dipped in coconut milk, goddamn. Shit, and she from Panama. Shit, that's what I'm saying, bro. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. Am I am I right, ma? I'm a ladies man. Oh, she, oh, she friends on you. Fuck you. How the fuck am I friend zone and they sitting here talking about they want to give me sex? That don't sound like friend zone to me, bro. Well, you still not going to make her your wife. According to the Bible, that is my wife. According to the Bible, though. Which nice guy finished last. That's why you guys don't got no damn sex appeal. Because your mindset, bruh, your confidence is low. So, even this fine ass girl named Bambiana. Now, she had a point, right? She's a foreign. I think she's a Gentile, but she had a point, bro. She said... First of all, little ass boys. Damn, she said little boys. Matter of fact, let me get that shit. I, I retweeted it. Yeah, so she tweeted this, man. So it says, show a girl you don't care and she will chase you, right? Because you got motherfuckers. Don't chase women, they're going to chase you. Show a woman you don't care and she will replace you. Okay, so in the biblical sense, bro. Okay. She's talking about, like, you nonchalant, you nonchalant. Uh, you know, being emotionally unavailable. She's talking about those type of motherfuckers. And, we, and we're talking about righteous love. We're talking about, you know, this special one, right? Like like a lot of you brothers who's married. You see what I'm saying? That special one. If you show your wife you don't care, nigga, like she gonna feel unloved, dumbass. Common sense. Just like you want, just like, you want her to show you that she cares. Common sense. I mean, I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a small example. I'm gonna get to the scriptures. When I was running track at UTSA, now that chocolate Jamaican chick I showed y'all, that's Danielle. That's what I be talking about, dude. She literally. I was the I was the only guy she was cheer, cheering for, bro. wasn't even make wasn't even making finals, dude. But. I'm taking that as an experience and I'm putting it on my checklist, right? Because little stuff like that shows shows you that she sees something past your, I guess, physical attributes. See what I'm saying? And especially if a woman with, with, with those type of looks, bro. That's what I mean by royalty. Let's get into sex appeal, man. 
Song of Solomon 1. I'm going to get the NLT version, the New Living Translation. And um, for you beloveds who, you know, love my content, man, uh, again, if it's offending, you to like it, man. I don't like being like that, but sometimes I do that to protect. Because, so, you know, I'm going to get that, too, with the, with the mighty men, muscular, athletic guys, bro. They weren't King Davis mighty men, weren't weed-smoking niggas, skinny-ass bitch boys who kill their own people, man. And, and whoremongers and all this other stuff that destroys our own people. And scallywags. But anyway, this is Solomon's Song of Songs, more wonderful than any other. So, young woman, kiss me and kiss me again, for your love is sweeter than wine. Okay, sex appeal. Get some chapstick. Get some castor oil. And heal your lips. Okay, I had a I had a I had one Mexican chick named Amber, bro, and she told me she had a crush on me. But women women notice the little things about you. Like she told me I have big ass teeth, big ass teeth. But um, even my mama. Like, I guess she had saw her at graduation. Like, I never told her about Amber. And um, never went out with her, nothing, nothing like that. We, but we used to always talk. And uh, she wanted to take a picture with me, man. And then she talking about some... She tried to call me a friend and all that. But sometimes women do that shit because they don't want to get hurt. And it's understandable. Nobody wants to be hurt, bro. So don't take it, take it with a grain of salt. But how fragrant your cologne, your name is like is spreading fragrance. So your name smell good, right? And you smell good, man. Don't be walking around smelling like booty pebbles and onions and freaking earring backs, okay? And expecting just a good woman just to be around you, bro. And again, we are a woman, she fart and shit too. But it's like, bro, it's at times where you guys don't use common sense, man. She said, take take me with you. Come, let's run. The king has brought me into his bedroom, right? To get, you already know, right? That's a beautiful thing. That's what, and I'm going to say this too. That's why, I, I'm going to say it like this, when she, when she moaning and uh, she, you know, she may start crying. She may start, uh, she, it may feel so good to the point to where she forgets to breathe and all that kind of stuff. Because that's communication, a pleasure. That's communication of submission in humbling your wife or your wives, man. Okay, it's a very, very powerful energy. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring that out, too. Because even that demon, Aleister Crowley, he knew that sex is the highest vibration on the earth. And I'm going to prove it after this, after this lesson. But young women of Jerusalem. So it says, how, ha how happy we are for you, O king. We praise your love more than wine. No, I... You got all the women. You trying to going off. You ain't focused on salvation. Like, bro, y'all can't find a scripture where the Lord reviled any man for having lots of women, bro. You can't even find it. Don't say fornication. That's not that's not fornication. Y'all don't know what unlawful sexual intercourse even is, doofus. Put the milk in the fridge, bro. Don't let it sit out all night and spoil. Put the damn milk in the fridge. I don't know what milk I want. Well, how the hell did you? Okay. Young woman, how right they are. They are to adore you. I am dark but beautiful. So this is the shawty talking. Oh, women of Jerusalem. Did it say big eyelashes and, and, and makeup all damn day? No. Did it say strip clubs? No. It said I am dark but beautiful, man. Oh, women of Jerusalem. Okay. So when you have a baby girl for you... Uh, extra overtly militant niggas. A genuine baby girl. Cause I have a, I had a I have a baby sister and a big sister. Okay, they don't come out all masculine and fucking aggressive. That's some shit y'all taught them. Okay, due to violence and due to the media and music, women are naturally tender. See, you you ex street nigga, you don't understand it. I'm talking about you you shit talkers, man, and you cornballs, you athletes. All, everybody, rappers. Bro, it's brothers that come from all different walks of life that understand this, but y'all niggas. Right? Because you got niggas, you talking about all, everybody. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm being fair in judgment. Dark as the tent of Kadar. Dark as the curtains of Solomon's tent. So she was very dark. Right? Or what they would call a black woman. 
bro. Don't stare at me because I am I am dark. The sun had darkened my skin. My brothers were angry with me. They forced me to care for their vineyard so I couldn't take care of myself. My own vineyard, man. Right? And I'm, I might just read the woman's adoration for the male. Right? Just to put things into perspective. And that don't mean you got to be the, the most ultra ripped guy. And that don't mean just because you have muscles. Okay, that you're going to pull. But, bro, let's be honest. Like, honor... Honor God in your temple. We, we're, we're supposed to be thinking on a high level, man. Right? Israelite genetics, we have genetically or genetically built different too. Okay? So when you walk around with your muscles out, you probably got some abs. Okay? A very virile uh, privy member. Okay? Strong feet, upright. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all of these things. Remember, being complete, man. Right? I mean, you sound too graphic. That's for the communication. Shut your AI robot ass up. Everybody, my thing is, everybody got here through fucking. Okay, all the animals fuck. Okay, the insects, everybody be be smashing. It's you dumb motherfuckers who be coming the door tree and whoremongering and then want to look at God and say, well, God, you know, I don't know how to control my love. So sex is fornication. Shut the hell up. Then it's like, if that was me, bro, I would do my best to repent and change, bro. And that's why I'm glad I didn't go that route, bro. Cause I, I used to see people like this, and they would be so miserable. I'm like, bro, you didn't have to even do that. Like, even with these fine-ass women, I'm like, bro, you're so horny to the point to where you just want to commit adultery. Right? You don't, like, bro, you don't even try to wait for the most high. At least... At least masturbate or some motherfucker. You just and it, 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 I don't. I'm not promoting that, but it's like, bro, you gotta release that shit sometime. Cause we in the flesh. I'm not making excuses for sin and shit. Yeah, nigga, that's the sin. Okay, fornication. Going to definition. Everything ain't porn, nigga. But anyway, I'm and I'm making a point. Cause as a woman, you should be like, look, bro. Especially if you got the body and all that. And I wish women had this type of mind, bro. Instead of getting with a damn whoremonger, why not build a genuine friendship and then love and then go? I mean, y'all can go as fast as you want. Like E-40 said, man, tell me when to go, ass nigga. But look, y'all got to put this into into perspective. And that's why with me, I said, you know what? I'd rather release before I sleep with the, sleep with the wrong one. But you got niggas, well, just wrap it up. No, nigga, because God going to fuck me up, bro. Why Why would I do that? Seriously, saying, you niggas are stupid. But anyway, tell me, my love, where are you leading your flock today, man? So she see the beloved got his own little little stash, whatever, or, or his, his flock, his cattle. Where will your rest, well, my bad, will you rest your sheep at noon? For why should I wander like a prostitute among your friends and their flocks, right? So she didn't want to be walking around waiting on a beloved to, you know, put away <laughs> his his stuff. So I'm going to jump to verse 12. The king is lying on his couch, enchanted by the fragrance of my perfume, right? So women wear perfume to smell to smell good too, because you got guys what he put on the perfume to enchant you. It's like, bro, stop, stop. You know how I know? Because I even noticed a miracle. And other chicks, they will put a if they're around you for a while, they'll put a certain smell in their hair to have you remember them, bro. See, y'all gotta peep the secrets, man. Y'all gotta peep the secrets, man. My lover is like a sachet of myrrh lying between my breast, right? Those beautiful titties, man. Right? So a woman, she want to feel love and desire and sexy, bro. Same thing with a man. Right? So she's talking to the man. Right? So when you look at it, uh, imagine, well, actually, no, I don't imagine because some of y'all brothers struggle, but I can imagine two beautiful breasts with, like, a fragrance in the middle. And, not, like, you got to think like a creator. Like, you created these body parts to be... To, to be a gift, man. That's beautiful. That feels so damn amazing, bro. Just even thinking about that. It's she said he is like a bow quit of sweet henna blossoms. 
or blossoms from the vineyards of Engedi, man. Right? So the woman, she like, man, my my baby fine. You know what I'm saying? No, it's no, I, she going off. Don't commend a man for his beauty. That's not what it's talking about, bro. The young woman. Okay. I'm talking to you guys who don't understand this. All you bummelites. It says, you are so handsome, my love. Pleasing beyond words, right? So when she probably, you know, again, looking at your figure, admiring your print. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the superior print, right? Just to put some stankery on it. The soft grass is our is our bread is our bed, man. Fragrant cedar branches are the beams of our house. And pleasant smelling furs are the rafters, right? And side note, if you're always horny and you're uh eating healthy, that's a good sign that you're very healthy. Okay, oh no, I my dick hard. And I mean, I'm finna just fornicate. That is not what that mean, bro. God damn. Y'all need to study science for once. Please, for the love of God. Damn. I'm, so, I'm saying, and I'm, so, and I'm sorry for just being like this, beloved. But it's like, dog, you got so many Israelites in IUIC. Freaking all these adulterous. These are, these are like the most adulterous camps. See what I'm saying? And they, because they don't have the Holy Spirit, they don't, they don't. Put things into perspective, man. See what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all real quick before I read this chapter. I remember in middle school, it was it was this one girl named Marine, right? Named Marine. <sighs> I forgot why we got to an argument, bro. But uh <laughs> we was in Miss Lagan class <laughs> in uh eighth grade, bro. And uh this is this is after you know Harrison. He basically went around the school, you know what I'm saying, telling all the girls. I know this, that shit sound weird, but he telling all the girls that basically I got a big dick and shit, bro. So, like, but see, I didn't know he did that. So, I'm going to school, bro. And, like, bro, she walk in the room, man. Damn, a white girl, so called white girl. I don't think she white. That's, I think she's Jake for real. But, man, this woman. She's sitting here talking about, oh, you know, that's why you got a you got a small dick and shit. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, man, get your lava lamp built ass back. Like you started <laughs> this was in class, bro. Like <laughs> I started roasting her ass, bro, in front of everybody. And um man, she talking about no, I said, I said, since you wanna say that, I said, let's let's say, let's go in the restroom, bro. And so we go in the restroom, bro. You know what I'm saying? And she tried to grab my privy member dog. But she, I let, I actually let her, and you know what I'm saying, like, and she took back her words, but like, it's stupid, sh stupid shit like that, bro. You walk in the basketball game, and this one girl named Myra Hernandez, I never forget this shit. I walk in there, bro, and she gonna ask me, am I, am I on hard? Like, nigga, who does that? Just two weeks ago, I met Goja, a girl in all black, literally, bro. When I tell y'all, I had to run. I had to go in the restroom, bro, because my my, <laughs> my tail started acting up. Bruh, I'm working out in the mirror, dude, and this is Mexican chicken, all black, bro. I promise y'all had a black jacket on, and I knew she was a, I know she was a thotty, bro. And she bending over in front of me, bro, while I'm trying to curl the dumbbells, bro. You know, I, I got them gray sweats on, not even the, the tight ones. I got the baggy ones on, bro, and I started to, to see my shit. And I was like, oh, hell no, nah, bro. So I had to turn around on some smooth stuff, bro. I was like, bro, no. And fucking no, bro. Um, but yeah, man, like I've had women tell me that when it comes to black males, they told it, they tell me that they just they just can't help but look at us, man. But the Lord made sex appeal on the edge of like, man, different, bro. Like even the other nations be like tripping. So I'm gonna get the second chapter, man. Get the woman. It says, I am the spring crocus blooming on the Sharon Plain, the lily of the valley. You see, I'm going to go to verse three. Like the finest apple tree in the ochre is my lover among other young men. So the whole she said that basically you su you're supposed to be number one in her eyes. And anybody who got common sense understand. 
You know, like if the Lord gives you, a, you know, a partner, bro, like you know, you don't want to make that person not feel special, or whatever. But I sit in His delightful shade and taste His delicious fruits, man. So can't be doing that when you don't take care of yourself, man. He es He escorts me to the banquet hall, man. Right. So imagine a, a princess, a shawty in a dress, man. Beautiful, bro. Something delicate. Something you can put on your arm, man. All right. It's obvious how much he loves me, man. Nah, I, you can't show love to your wife. Strengthen me with raisin cakes. Refresh me with apples. For I am weak with love, right? Now, you, now she tender, man. She tender, man. <laughs> hey. His left arm is under my head. His right arm embraces me, right? So when she feels protected in your arm, man. <laughs> Bro, Miracle Dog, she used to always like, like, uh, was that was that her doing that? But she had made a mention about my muscles, bro. She was just like, just gazing and shit. <laughs> And then she put her nose in my chest, bro. I'm like, dog, what the hell? Bro, I've had, y'all know how women, when you just, when you got muscles especially, they'll like, bro, they'll like tap you and they'll, keep, they'll playfully hit you and shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is for you Jakes who may want a wife, man. Okay? Don't, and be normal about it. It's not about. Looking like Trey Songs and Michael Jackson. Not about being carnal. This is about unlearning the curriculum the curriculum of your elders. And going by what Yahweh, what Yahweh Shai said, man. You know, stop being ashamed of being hand to Mars. Stop being ashamed of this type of stuff. Promise me, O women of Jerusalem, by the gazelles and the wild deer, not to awaken love until the time is until the time is right. Right. Ah, I hear my lover coming. He is leaping over the mountains. It sounds like it sounds like he's very, very athletic, bro. Bounding over the hills. You know how in track and field when they triple jump when they triple jump, that's called bounds. Bro, and everybody can't do that. So that's the reason why they envy the Hebrew man genetically, bro. Cause it's something so damn sexually appealing to the woman. Understandable. My lover is like a swift gazelle. He runs fast. Right? When y'all see track stars and how they run so gracefully, I don't think y'all understand. Like when I was in my, my prime, man, I was dude, I was I was I was not no scrub, bro. Track track stars are fast. The real definition of speed. Not football, not basketball. Track. N n nobody on this planet is being track athletes in speed, bro. Don't even. It don't. It don't even compare, bro. Okay. Or a young stag, man. The way he's built, right? Look, there he is behind the wall, looking through the window, peering into the room. My lover said to me, "Rise up, my darling. Come away with me, my fair one. Right, my handsome one." See what she said, man. So, she said, My lover is mine and I am his. He browses among the lilies. I'm going to go to chapter three, man. So, when a woman, and this ties into sexual arousal too, bro. Right? Because watch this. One night as I lay in my bed, right? As I lay in bed, when she lonely, Okay, and that coochie wet. She needs somebody to come get it in, man. I yearned for my lover. She might leave somebody to sleep next to. I yearned for him, but he did not come. Okay, yearn means you desire that person beyond measure, bro. All right, that's the creation of this of the spirit of agape. All right, God created that spirit of agape. So I said to myself, I will get up and roam the city, searching in all the streets and squares. So she went out her way to prove herself. I will search for the one I love. No, I said search for everybody 
and, and be a minion or be a thotty. So I searched everywhere, but I did, but did not find him. You see. Watch this. Then scarcely I had had I left them when I found my love. I caught and held him tightly, man. When a woman, when she want to just hug you for a long time. Um, then I brought him to my mother's house. Into my mother's bed where I had been conceived, man. See, I probably already know what went down right there, man. All right. So basically, and then it's like it's such a beautiful frequency because when it comes to sex, man, like women want to be dominated because it's so powerful. It's so divine. And we're talking about you, Jakes, man. It's so divine. And that's why you, sir, right, are envied for your penis, whether you would like it or not. Okay, I've had at we've we've had actual Latino lights in the truth talking about well Latinas they only like y'all for y'all BBC and shit like bro I'm not making this up but my thing is let's use some science or whatever or whatever if a woman has a G spot an A spot in a P spot and it's there for you know pleasure when that time comes with your wife out of love and you hit in certain spots. That other men can't hit. Why wouldn't you as a man. Why would you take the gift of God. No that's too graphic God. I'm going to just be a robot about it. No nigga. Well, well God. Ah, you know. Uh, this, it's, it's a myth. And all this other shit. Like bro. We're not talking about that. You know what I'm saying. Like what do y'all. Just humans ruin everything. But anyway. Sex appeal. Bro. Now if she's a virgin. You obviously want to get you a virgin. So her vagina can uh, basically adjust to yours. Okay. But a lot of times, like I say, man, um, like the multitude, the multitude of people are committing adultery. Okay. Whether they know it or not. Because of lack of sexual gratification. And then you got most mofos that just out here just bumping and grinding on anything. You can't be doing that, man. But look. Then scarcely, my bad, promise, promise me, O women of Jerusalem, by the gazelles and the wild deer, not to awaken love until the time is right, man. See that? Watch this, man. Look at all the shawties, man, with Solomon. Who is, th who is this sweeping in from the wilderness like a cloud of smoke? Who is it? Fragrant with myrrh and fra frankincense, man, and every kind of spice. So he smelled good. Look, it is Solomon. Solomon was very, very, very handsome. Moses was handsome. King David was handsome. Bruh. Absalom, wicked ass, was handsome. Surrounded by 60 heroic men. The best of Israel's soldiers, man. All right, nah. It, just, it said they were uh just evil minions. They are all skilled warriors, swordsmen. Experienced warriors. So they, they know how to, they went to battle. Man. That's what it means. That's that's the biblical term of, quote unquote, they don't like nice guys, bro. The biblically, you don't matter how tall you are, if you're a man that can defend, and you're not afraid of war, that woman's reverence for you skyrockets. Not saying she she won't get with you if, if you calm and nice and kind, bro. But at the end, at the end of the day, just like with us men, we don't want to be around danger all goddamn day. It's common damn it's common sense and then salvation from the heavenly father isn't guaranteed. So why would we want to put ourselves in that situation? But um each wears a sword on his thigh. See, I can wear a gun. See, this wasn't but see you had to fight sword to sword though. You couldn't just fight from a distance. See, guns are not swords, bro. Literal swords. You have to be skilled in using a sword. Anybody can get a gun and, sh and pull the trigger, bro. That's not nothing. For you street niggas. No. Each wears a sword on his thigh ready to defend the king, righteous kings, against against an attack in the night. So they were not afraid to lay their life down. That offers a very, 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 very godly protection to the woman. And that ties into sex appeal. You can't be a damn coward, man. And just because a guy talk nice or he's skinny or whatever, that don't mean he can't fight either. 
But yeah, man. Come out to see King Solomon, young women of Jerusalem. He wears the crown his mother gave him on his wedding day, his most joyous day. That's why I always say to you damn minions, in my experience, righteous women, that that's authentic. They can pick up on that spirit, bro. Okay? About your mother. <sighs> now. I'm going to go to, I think this is, uh, I'm going to go to five. I really, um, hold on real quick. So in Song of Solomon five and eight, she said, make this promise, O women of Jerusalem. So she's talking to all the other shawties and women. The righteous beloveds, the daughters of God. If you find my lover, tell him I am weak with love, man. These are two beloveds deeply in love, right? Young women of Jerusalem. So these are the other women. Why is your lover better than all others? O woman of rare, of rare beauty. Okay. What makes your lover so special that we must promise this? So why, why is he so special to you? Why are you tripping over him? She said, my lover is dark and dazzling. Watch, watch what she said. Better, better than 10,000 others. It's a reason why I went to that Thanksgiving dinner. And I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I needed something to eat. But you overrighteous niggas. And uh, her friend told me that uh, she had a crush that her friend had a crush on me and wanted me to, wanted me to, you know, pop, basically clap them cheeks, man. Okay. She basically told her herself, admitting she was lusting after me, man. That's not a, that's not a wicked thing. That's not a wicked thing for a virgin woman to lust after a man. That's not even wicked. That's what you're supposed to do. That's why the Hebrew is like, man, we have a lot of sperm, right? It's not just there just to, oh, be a power, be a monk, be a robot. And if you choose to go that route, that's on you. But don't twist the scriptures. It says his head is fine as, fine as gold. His wavy hair or curly hair, okay, is black as a raven, right? His eyes sparkle like doves because he was upright. He was innocent beside springs of water. They are set like jewels washed in milk. Bro, white. It wasn't yellow. Cause you're doing drugs all goddamn day. His cheeks are like gardens of spices, man. Giving off fragrance. Smell good. His cheeks. His lips are like lilies, okay? Sex appeal. Perfume with myrrh. So a woman. They, bro, obviously, yeah, this is where hygiene comes in. Like every day. You know, just for me, I just get chapstick and castor oil, man. All right? Cause I used to bite my lips a lot when I was younger. But the castor oil actually helps heal your skin too. And obviously, chapstick. Why are you putting on chapstick? Cause I don't like having crusty ass lips. Who does, bro? Like, what the hell? His arms are like rounded bars of gold, man. Your muscles. All right. Set with burrow, man. So just like it's, you, you basically have the the luxury of really not even having to fight all the damn time because you're so damn strong. His body is like bright ivory, glowing with la lapis lazuli. That's a blue jewel, bro. Right. So I I, I love it, man. I fuck, bro. I love the feeling of sexual arousal and righteousness, bro. Okay. I love having that freedom. And I'm glad that God, through his only begotten son, I'm glad that I'm glad they even created that, bro. It's such a beautiful thing. We how my like my mind hurts when I don't have a rib next to me. Right? Because all them dope that high level of dopamine in your damn brain. You don't have no woman or man next to you when it comes to that love, man. His legs, right? Are like marble pillars. Did it say be a bummer light and just sit there 
and be stanky all day, man. You got to groom yourself, beloveds. You got to try to become your best self, man. Now, some beloveds may have health conditions and all that. Um, it may have, you know, self-esteem other, and other things, man. And that's okay, man. Always work on that. Don't, don't, uh, don't focus on, you know, terrible women. And my, and I'm gonna say it like this. <clears throat> and this, this is out of love. The more time you spend focusing on your, you know, not being accepted or not feeling wanted, you gotta feel that time to get right, bro. Like. Some women, they not they're not doing that because they don't love you or they don't have compassion for you. It's just the fact that you cannot even Israelites are Gentiles. Humans, we're not we're not designed to be just well. Accept me how accept me how I am. It's like, bro, I'm not sexually attracted to fat girls. I'm not sexually attracted to to skinny girls. That doesn't mean she's not a good wife. That doesn't mean she's not virtuous, bro. You see what I'm saying? But see, you guys want the complete package of her, but you you don't want to put in the work, the grit, and you don't want you don't want to change your diet. You don't want to do all this other stuff. And then when somebody tell you this, y'all get discouraged, or you try to, oh man, brother, you talking down to me? No, nah, we're encouraging. I'm trying to help y'all when it comes to this. I know from experience, bro. Okay. His posture is statly, right? So he has a very, you can say upright posture. I kind of walk with a lean a little bit, but not like an old man lean. Like the noble cedars of Lebanon. His mouth is sweetness is sweetness itself. So like, you know, brush your teeth, mouthwash, floss. You know what I'm saying? Just clean yourself up, beloved. That's all you got to do. He is desirable in every way. Such a woman of Jerusalem is my lover, my friend. I've had women... Bro, like, I can't even count. Bro, I really cannot count how many women lusted after me. And I, I know you see the picture on the screen, but even like when I'm covered up or whatever, when I don't even have a haircut, I feel this surge of sexual lust coming after me, bro. I'm not playing. And um, I've had women and men tell me I could be a model. See what I'm saying? And like I've got, you know, women always ask me, you got a girlfriend? Are you this? And I've had a woman at Sonic ask me, do I have a girlfriend? I'm like, bro, because women can already see that. That's honorable, man. I like, I like, man. I love women, God damn it. I fucking love women, bro. Damn, bro. You niggas are gay, bro. Fuck y'all. But young women of Jerusalem, where has your lover gone? Old women of rare beauty. Which way did he turn so we can help you find him? All right. Hold on. Let me see, man. And also, too, it says, and then the man said, how beautiful are your sandal feet, O queenly maiden. Your rounded thighs, like I always say, are like jewels. The work of a skilled craftsman. Your two breasts are like two fawns, twin fawns of a gazelle, bro. Damn. That was verse three. And then in verse seven, for all you guys, for all you other people, you are slender like a palm tree, and your breasts are like, are like it's clusters, clusters of fruit, man. Look, also, I'm going to keep saying this. That's a lie. Talking about, well, beauty, beauty just going to automatically fade away. If you take care of yourself, okay, you may not look the exact same, but you got to take care of yourself. You can't be eating fast food and drinking liquor all for the rest of your damn life. Don't do nothing. Don't keep no dietary laws and still expect to be expect to be beautiful. Be beautiful. And what's even more crazy, Israelites in the world would eat crab, pork, shellfish, all these other abominable foods. And some of them would still look amazing in their older years. Because genetically, we're not supposed to be eating that shit. Anyway, I had to, had to bring that out, man. Uh, there are the mandrakes, right? She's talking about sex, man. Because the mandrakes are aphrodisiacs. They, they still they still exist today. I can probably order some. 
It says, give off their fragrance and the finest fruits are at, at our door. You are what you eat. So when she slobbing on your knob and she's tasting your cum, not to be graphic. Okay, when you're tasting her fluids, okay, you can taste that kind of stuff, man. It's for you virgins, you men and women. You need to know this shit because y'all going to mess around and commit a or something. But in the finest fruits are at our door. New delights as well as old, which I have saved for you, my lover. You see? So stop. And you humans need to stop, you know, feeling ashamed. And y'all, y'all just talk about sexuality and stuff. But when the Bible come out, now all of a sudden y'all want to act like y'all robots? Bro. Young woman. This is what she said. Oh, I wish you were, you were my brother, right? Because you got a lot of these men. Oh, she done friends on you. I see you as a little brother. <laughs> this this is the woman that is in love with him physically, mentally, spiritually, and sexually, bro. She, she said this. Oh, I wish you were my brother. This is talking about an Israelite woman, not modern day scrags and dumbass Beckys and shit. Fuck y'all. But look, it says, who nursed at my mother's breast. That I could that I could kiss you no matter who was watching. She so she was saying that's that freedom in being sexually attracted to you without feeling ashamed, goofy. And no one would criticize me. No, he said that. Uh yeah, I see the word brother and you fucking bruh. So like it. She said, I would bring you to my childhood home when you was innocent. Everything was blissful and cool. And there you would teach me. She wanted to be taught by the beloved. She, hey, you play shepherd, you play sheep, baby. (laughs) And we're growing in this thing. I would give you spiced wine to drink and my sweet pomegranate wine. So she wanted to give you that wine. She said, your left arm would be under my head. Damn, shawty deep. And your right arm would embrace me. Oh, shit. Bruh, promise me, all women of Jerusalem, not to awaken love until the time is right. Wow, bruh. That's why it says, young young women of Jerusalem, who is this sweeping in from the desert, leaning on her lover, man? Right? The young woman. Let's see what she said. I aroused you under the apple tree. Hold up. The mandrake apples? Where your mother gave you birth, where in great pain she delivered you, right? Had them babies, right? Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is as strong as death, and she's not lying, bro. So when I when I say that love good, that love is good, dude. It's jealousy as enduring as the grave, man. See, Oc approved polygyny ain't no, bro. It's talking about when it's not done lawfully. Love flashes like fire. Okay, the brightest kind of flame. When you look at Shawty, y'all both see that fire in y'all eyes, man. And y'all just pound each other out, man, to express love and affection. Damn. Many waters cannot quench love, nor can rivers drown it. If a man tried to buy love with all his wealth, his offer his offer would be utterly scorned. I'm about to oh about to read that again, bro. It's like, it's like you red pill niggas get destroyed, bro, when it comes to shit like this. Many waters cannot quench love, nor can rivers drown it. If a man tried to buy love with all his wealth, your damn money, for you stinking red pill guys, his offer would be utterly scorned, bro. So y'all still losing. Let me see, man. Let me see. So the woman's brothers, right? Let's prove my point. Because you got niggas, you know, you can't desire a woman who's developed, who's developed. You robots. And this is for One West, man. Like, One West, y'all are just gay ass people, bro. We have a little sister too young to have breasts. What will we do for our sister if someone asks to marry her, right? So basically, when a woman, she ain't got no, when she ain't got shit on her, it's like, you still look like a little girl. To a you know masculine, high sex driven man, it's like they're not. That's not nature, bro. 
Okay. If she, because people think a virgin is like a virgin is like a skinny ass girl. Like, no, nigga. If she, if she is a virgin like a wall, we would protect her. We would protect her with a silver tower. But if she is promiscuous like a swinging door, we will block her door <laughs> with a cedar bar. You're going to get your ass out. So the young woman is for you shawties, man. I was a virgin like a wall. Now my breasts are like towers. Right? You're supposed to, bro, Miracle, oh, she used to do this too, bro. Like she used to wear this black shirt and she would like fondle her breasts. Oh, Lolita um, Marie, bro. So when I was in the suburbs of my dad, like, so she used to literally, I would sit behind her, right? Her fine Cuban ass, bro. Fine as fuck, goddamn. But, bro, she would take her shirt or her bra, or like her, you know, whatever she had, and she would always adjust her breast, bro. Women do that because they, 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 they naturally want a desire to please their husband or a sexy man without question. And it's the most, fuck, it's the most amazing feeling of all time, bro. What masculine man with high levels of testosterone, why would they want that, bro? She, she said my breasts are like towers. When my lover looks at me, he is delighted with what he sees, bro. When my lover looks at me, he is delighted delighted with what he sees. Now, nah, like you, you, you lust it. You, man, stop. Wow, bro, that's cold. Oh, oh, oh! Song of Solomon eight and twelve. So this is a girl like Beyonce said, cater to you, but my vineyard is mine to give. And Solomon need not to pay a thousand pieces of silver, but I, her, but I will give 200 pieces to those who care for his vine, man. So she going to put in her brick, dog. Damn. Come away, my love. Be like a gazelle or a young stag on the mountains of spices, man. So she want to be in that position, man. Damn, bro. Anyways, man. With that being said. Oh, wait. I didn't get the mighty. Let me get that mighty man real quick. My bad. Just to, back, just to, just to cap it off, man. That's why in, in 2 Samuel uh, 17 and 8. You know, you know your father and his men. They are mighty warriors. Right now, they are as enraged as a mother's bear who have been robbed of her cubs. And remember that your father is an experienced man of war. He won't be st be spending the night among the troops. Okay, so y'all over here, oh, um, street nigga, no, dude. Okay, so mighty man, that means brave, strong. There's nothing brave about killing your own brothers for no reason and being a cornball. It says strong, mighty, right, upright man, no matter where you come from. Talk, talking about the real ones, okay. It says champion, powerful, giant, man, valiant, man. So they'll bust your head. Like I picture grabbing like a a weak ass demon, a minion, right? A drill nigga. I imagine grabbing his fucking face and smashing his head through the window, bro. See what I'm saying? I don't like evil people. A mighty king, man. But on the flip side, like if it's a wicked woman, like just, bro, just stay away. But... Mighty. My, it says, it is also referred to energy and ability in performing things. A man strong in ability. So you have to train, bro. A military leader to power. The commander of soldiers. And the soldier, man. Now I said, uh, I'm lazy all day and I eat McDonald's all goddamn day. See? So yeah, man. This is a lesson on. This is for you men who don't understand. Women desire sex appeal, bro. Okay. I'm a, I might title it Sexy Virtuous Women Desire Sex Appeal from Their Husband. And that's biblical. Just so don't, you don't. It's like, bro. <laughs> all this camp shit, IUIC stuff, 
all this worldly stuff, get it out your head, man. But with that being said, peace and blessings and shalom.